Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this home... Oh! If you like this video, make sure you come back tomorrow for more, and the next day, and the next day. And today is a busy bee home vlog. My gosh, look at these clouds rolling in. The, after, the late afternoon storms here in Florida lately have been crazy. What's Sarah, that? Sarah thought I brought Chipotle home. You did. But what she didn't realize is I also brought home our new magic band. Mm -hmm. so if you didn't know, the magic band distribution is like 15, 20 minutes away from where we live mm -hmm. from Disney World. Yeah. So like we just ordered these out in the app. I just got um Ever City. Oh, we have magic sliders again. Should we actually put them on? Oh my gosh. Wait, wait till you see these burritos. My burrito. Ooh, fancy drinks. Look at this big burrito. Oh my gosh. We need a plate over here. Order up. Here he comes on the run with a burger and a bun. You know, just home alone two on. And I typically don't get guac on my burrito bowls, but it was National Avocado Day, so it was free. Christmas tree. They had such a hard time wrapping my burrito because it was so full. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm salivating. Oh gosh, look at how Sarah paused Kevin McAllister. <laughs> that is just rude. Guess what we're gonna go do now? We're gonna go, go shopping, we're gonna go, go shopping, we're gonna go, go shopping, and we're removing some fun right now. Sarah didn't even know this what? was happening. Sarah did not even know this was happening. Red alert. Some of this is coming with us to our new home. You're so dramatic. Some of it is getting donated like this. Donated or gave away? G give it away. Give, given? Gavin away? Gavin DeGraw. <laughs> the other things are gonna get donated. I spent hours. <laughs> and I have been given the task of hanging this up here with this arrangement. It took a little time because of all the aligning and everything, but I'm proud of it, and it's all done. Yay! You can't tell, but there's three subsections here. Everything is perfectly spaced. I spent like four hours mathematically calculating all this. And I've since thought about it over the past two years. I could have done it way faster if I just, <laughs> but anyway, it's coming down. Can I see that picture? This was us at the beginning of Route 66. There it is. It's a Nike wall. Wow. Now it feels real. Sarah, does it feel real yet? Yeah, it feels real. Whoa! I got my quarter. I not only remembered our bags, but I remembered our Reusable produce, produce bags. All the produce. Check. Are you proud? Yeah, we got lots of produce. I love it. All right, we're just about ready to check out. We yep. got some produce. Plenty of sneaky snacks. Sneaky snacks. We got more beans. We got three different kinds, or two almond milks and a coconut milk. We're trying these out because one of the, you lovely people suggested them the black bean chipotle burger, which are vegan from Aldi. Tostadas, agave, mustard. I'm gonna make um, brownies with our protein. Ooh. We need to get we some more of that soon too. Banana, some more protein, yeah. yeah. Do you want a classic Aldi pack time lapse? This little furry Snickers bar is so sad right now. What you doing, Sarah? Doing the dishes. We typically, like Peter does the dishes, I do the laundry. And that's like our thing. But. We help each other out, but like 90% of the time, right. it's Sarah ends up doing. All of the laundry. And I usually do all, all the, dishes. the dishes. And like, we're typically like, the other person's like being productive or at work or doing something while the other person is doing it. Yeah. But just tonight, 
we wanted to make sure that these got done but here is eight miles to run so i was like i'll do it yeah today is like like we said last week like this this past sunday i ran when i ran 16 miles like now the training gets kind of like ridiculous Intense during the week for I, sure I've been listening to more like podcasts and videos because my I find them where my friend Steve finds them, and like when you get to a training for like a half marathon, marathon, or even further, definitely, the training aspect of it pretty much becomes a part time job. Yeah, but and you have to like the reason that you could just go out the other day and run sixteen miles is because you've trained yourself, of these training so things, yeah. it's worth it funny thing i'm actually allergic to dish soap and i already feel my face is so itchy hey, if you if it gets bad just stop <laughs> okay it's not terrible it's just like i i don't like nothing bad happens i just get no. really itchy she wheezes sometimes and i, I don't yeah. like that right before bed all right yeah. we gotta go do our stuff we'll be back <laughs> i'm gonna kick butt another one done just a little sweaty again but time to go home i don't get how I know it's because my watch is based off heart rate, but like this says 8.37, my watch is 8 even. I think that's more accurate than my watch, but either way, we got it done. One day closer to Dopey, Wine and Dine, 50K, all of it. And Castaway Key Challenge. Oh, uh, what is this? It is raining. Our apartment complex is so big, we live like a quarter to half a mile away from the gym. And it just started raining i mean i'm not running home but this will be a nice cool walk home then so peter's finishing up in the shower he's finished with his run um i've had a couple of questions come up about what i'm doing to prevent cysts or what worked last time to get rid of my cysts so i thought i'd just walk through really quick my little like schedule that I have written down here that I followed before and I'm doing again um, so when I wake up I do oils like essential oils with some heat with uh, that unicorn little heating pad that Megan and Katie got me um, the oil mixture is the base is coconut oil and then 10 drops of um, oregano 10 drops of geranium and 10 drops of frankincense um, and that helps break down and also helps any pain that would come with a cyst. So I do that right in the morning, right when I wake up actually. And then um, in the morning I do a ginger supplement, a yam root supplement, and um, a vinegar water, like a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in a glass of water. So that's in the morning. And then in the afternoon I have been keeping, I haven't been doing this. Um, but now I'm going to start back up again is the 30 minutes of cardio again ginger yam root more oils and heat and then um, just my normal prenatal vitamins that I've been on for almost four years ever since we've been trying so just like the typical vitamins I take I also take a vitamin D supplement and then just at some point in the afternoon I drink a cup of the infertility tea that um, I showed before, I can put in the, just the Amazon link below. It's raspberry leaf tea and it just, it really helps your insides get ready for a baby. And then with dinner, I take a milk thistle supplement, a citrate supplement that my acupuncturist gave me, as well as the ginger and yam root again. Um, so that's three times a day, the ginger and the yam root. And then, on an empty stomach before I go to bed, I take a supplement, it's a lot, um, called Sarah, Seraptase, Seraptase. Um, all of these were suggestions from you guys, and this in particular is, um, it just breaks down proteins, and so it works best on the empty stomach, and just the makeup of it helps break down proteins, so that's really good for getting rid of cysts. And then before bed, I do another glass of the apple cider vinegar water concoction and more oils and heat. So I have that going on right now. Um, so that's the schedule. It sounds like a lot, but I just section out the supplements throughout the day in little piles and little baggies um, so I don't forget. And then the other really, really important thing is drinking a lot of water. So I drink eight glasses of water every day. And I also go to acupuncture. Um, some other big 
tips that I've gotten that I've stood by um, beforehand, which I'm going to do again, is cutting out sugar. So I am weaning myself off pop again. Um, and then starchy foods like potatoes specifically, I'm steering clear of just kind of really sticking to fruits and veggies. So sorry if that was a lot of information, but I know a lot of you were wondering. Um, and hopefully if you are going through something similar, you can kind of follow this to, to help your own case out. I honestly think like we've kind of gone all out and I probably don't have to do everything. Um, but it's all natural. I feel good about doing it and we want to prep my body for the next step. So we're willing to do it all again. Today is the last day of July and tomorrow marks one week until our four year anniversary and Sarah's parents 33rd wedding anniversary. But today's the last message of July, which is exciting because the beginning of a new month's daily messages is always exciting. So today is by Thich Nhat Han. Only this actual moment is life. Super deep. Also, I'm not sweaty and gross anymore. And also this right here, our, our applications for our new apartment. So I'm gonna go on a lunch break visit tomorrow to go to a Chase Bank and get a money order to pay for the application fee. And I'm gonna go drop those off. It's like basically Winter Park, but right. it's, it's not It's north Winter of downtown, Park. Yeah, which is, is crazy. It's, it's by, our, our clinic, uh, by our fertility clinic, which is where we kind of wanted to be, mm -hmm. north of Orlando, more it neighborhoodly, is, old trees, so old houses. And, like our more so like our first apartment where you just like walk down the road and there's like restaurants it's on a busy street yeah and but, um little shops but two blocks away from Lots playgrounds lakes. and yeah. lakes and We're super gardens and so hopefully we get it out. yeah mm -hmm. um, we had a really good conversation the guy who owns it and manages it owns his owned and him his brother his dad have all owned land like their whole life like he's been here since the early 40s well yeah he was born he was born here. here. Yeah. His parents moved down here in the early 40s yeah. from Tennessee and just like bought up a bunch of land before anything was here. Before I-4. Like it was really like nice He remembers when I-4 got dug up. So like he's been here a while and it's cool because you don't meet that. You don't see that often like roots of Orlando. Yeah. And he is. So it was really cool. So I really hope it works out. Yeah. Um, hopefully it's a quick turnaround because yeah. we are still looking just in case. Right. But we really like this place. Yeah. And I think the guy liked us too. Yeah. Um... I know it's we kind of described it like we're not like we're not wowed by like the actual apartment itself but it's not bad by any means but it's like a really good blank canvas for us yeah. to like do our little refresh there's that like been talking three about. to four sections that we're like considering when looking at apartment like location rent amount quality of apartment location did i say you said that yeah just maybe like aesthetic like maybe style. aesthetic of it and style mm -hmm. of it and it doesn't have 100% of any of those, but it's probably got like 80% of each of those. Yeah, I think location is huge. Yes, it's and probably got like 95% of location, yeah. but at least 80 of everything else. And that's like important to us because like Sarah said, we weren't wowed by like one particular thing about it, but overall experience I think is going to yeah. be great. Mm -hmm. There's a parking spot. There's um, the location, like there's a, it's like got a good sense of community. Mm -hmm. Like we're just excited for it yeah. and hopefully... It works we'll out. get to tell yeah, you guys so that we I'll get it. Drop that off tomorrow on a lunch break. Mm -hmm. But right now, I'm trying. I've been messing up in my running schedule, like just switching around rest days because I'm supposed to rest on Mondays and Fridays. But you're listening to your body. But I'm listening to my body. But I'm gonna try to trick my body. I ran tonight, and I have four miles tomorrow. I'm gonna try to wake up early and run. I also have to go into work early because there's something I have to do on the first of the month every month. And I want to get a head start on it. But I'm gonna try to trick by running early tomorrow and then running later Friday to give myself like a pretend break. Yeah. That was a long sign off message, but it's good to be home. It's great to be home. Oh, spacious and luxurious. Slimy yet says. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>